Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's local news sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Yoga. Top shine detailing, check us out on all of our platforms. Well, two people were stabbed in Butler County early Friday morning. This guy right here, Leonidas de Jesus Marquis, 31. Stabbed two. Apparently they're not deceased yet. There was a Price Hill shooting, East Price Hill, 37-1, 37-year-old male victim with a gunshot wound to a leg. It never ends. The suspect fled in a black Chevy SUV. No one's been arrested yet. This is a wild name of a school, St. Stephen Martyr School. St. Stephen was the first Catholic martyr in the Catholic Church. Stoned to death. St. Paul was present. Anyway, the school is reporting that a teacher has been arrested on charges relating to distributing child porn. It states that some of the students' pictures were taken out of the school's yearbook. Sick, 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 sick. Blue Ash police officers resigned. A top-ranking police officer. Lieutenant Jason Swartout is at the center of the criminal investigation. Don't know why, we don't know what, but he has resigned. Chances are he's resigned. Something bad's going down. Jamie Simpson's wife woke early morning, February 22nd, 2023, to her husband sitting on top of her. He beat the hell out of her, restrained her, wouldn't let her leave the house. Crazy stuff. He was found guilty. Shocker there, right? Folks, you can kidnap your own loved ones. You didn't know that, did you? And this guy, who's been a creepy guy, Ronnie Goldie, former prosecutor, found guilty in federal court Friday for what? Trading sexual favors for a criminal defendant. Nuts. And a Boone County man was sentenced to 106, 136 days, Paul Marcus Stavich, for methamphetamines. Not good. Now, this is a funny story. That's why I'm breaking it out, okay? Union, Kentucky is the creme de creme of Northern Kentucky. Probably even more so than Fort Thomas. Or, you know, you got country squire states, but... Union's got Triple Crown, all these other places. I think Union is the ritziest Northern Kentucky city, right? Well, guess what? There's an Audi apparently coming to the promenade, that big, massive development out on 42. But a lot of the snobs in Union are upset about it. <laughs> I have to poke them. <laughs> the country clubbers, too good for an Audi. Oh, well, that's fun. All right, in Kentucky news, University of Louisville is going to build a $280 million health sciences building. Where? Downtown Louisville. And the Kentucky legislature is going to pass some laws that are going to hold kids and parents accountable for their conduct on school buses. The GOP passed a $30 billion budget. We'll see how the governor deals with it. In Ohio news, Coney Island, they, the symphony wants $20 million of taxpayer dollars to do their development. It never ends. Why don't I get in a business, Sabrina, that requests tax dollars? 500,000 acres of farmland in Ohio is owned by foreign interests. How the hell did that happen? 1.6 billion railroad fund. We keep bringing this up. It's going to be a slush fund for corruption. And the Procter & Gamble hostage siege is over. Everybody is okay. This is a bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you have a great day.